Hi everyone, this is Arun Reddy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Arun Reddy Tech for you. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the topic called deadlock. So friends, if you are new to my video and if you want to learn DBMS, you can go through my channel playlist. In playlist, you will find a uh, playlist called DBMS. Okay, so which contains remaining videos. And if you want to learn DBMS in Telugu, there is another playlist called DBMS in Telugu where remaining videos are available. And if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe and don't forget to like and share my videos. Let us move to our topic. Okay, so coming to our topic, deadlock is in DBMS. Okay, so first of all, what is deadlock means where a situation you are waiting or you are in an ideal state, neither you can move front or back. Okay, you are in a standstill. Okay, so you are in a standstill situation. So such situations are called deadlock. So let us see uh, what is a deadlock in uh, DBMS then. Okay, see a deadlock is a condition where two or more transactions are wait waiting indefinitely for one another to give up locks. See what you are saying one or uh, so two or more transactions they are waiting indefinitely for one another to give up locks. See. Uh, for example, there is a T1, T2, T3 transaction. So T1 is waiting for T2, T2 is waiting for T3 and T3 is waiting for T1. Now they are waiting for one another and uh, now they are in a indefinite wait means they are waiting just so they are in the standstill. Now either they can cancel their waiting nor they can go for uh, further right. So neither they can go for uh, front nor back. So they are in a standstill situation. See. Deadlock is said to be one of the most feared complex, uh, co uh, complex sorry, complication in DBMS as no task ever get finished and is waiting state forever. See, if we have uh, see deadlock, first of all, deadlock is very complicated situation in DBMS. If we have deadlock situation that that means all our transaction will be passed. Okay, they, they will be stopped there in the standstill. That means you cannot operate anything. You cannot do anything. Okay, so for I will show you a small example. For example, we have a road. Okay, so in road between there is a very narrow road. Okay, so what happens? Two different cars come in this uh, in this uh, between this narrow road. Now they are in a situation that they can uh, cannot go uh, front nor back. Now both are in a what you say deadlock situation. See, you can see this is a car and this is a car, and they are stuck in a narrow road. Now one of car, okay, so any one car should go back, but they are not going. Why? Because of their ego, neither they are going back nor they can go front now. So this situation is called deadlock. So they will stand still like that only for a long time. For suppose they don't have ego, but they have some already traffic behind them. Now they cannot go back. So now also they are in the deadlock. They are in the standstill situation. Of course, to avoid this kind of situations, we can use uh, a traffic signals or a traffic police. Okay. Or suppose already it is detected. What we can do some you have to uh, move one of the car. Okay. So you have to forcefully move one of the car. Then only the um, traffic will flow. Right. So now same situation is uh, in our uh, DBMS. Okay. So deadlock is a situation where you cannot go further or back. Okay, I will show you with the example. Okay, right. For example, there is a uh, student table. Okay, so student table or any database you can take. Okay, so now T1 is holding a lock on some A. See, T1 is holding a lock on A and uh, uh, and needs to update B. Now B is here. Simultaneously, T2 holds lock on B and uh, needs to update. A. Okay, so now what, what is happening? See, T1 is holding A, T2 is holding B. Now T1 want to update B, T2 want to update A. Now what T1 will do? It will request to the B. Can the request accepted? No, because T2 is holding, right? So T2 will release when it it, it get some uh, acceptance from the another. For example, T2 is requesting for A. Now if T2 get acceptance of A, it will release B. Now if it is not releasing B, now same way when T1 will release T1 is uh, 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 so T1 is requesting B. Now B is hold by T2. Now T1 will also not release the A. Now this is called deadlock situation. Now T1 is holding A and requesting for the B and it is waiting. T2 is holding B and requesting A. Now it is also waiting. So now this is a standstill situation. See. 
now the main problem arises is now transaction t1 is waiting for t2 to release the release its lock and similarly transaction t2 is waiting for t1 to release the lock but both they are not uh, releasing their locks okay so all activities come to halt okay so remain as a standstill so now it is in the standstill so it will remain standstill until see dbms detects the deadlock and about uh, one of this transaction see until now dbms has to detect what what's the problem and it has to cancel one of the transaction then only this standstill will move on and it will uh, the transaction will flow right okay now uh, see last situation we cannot say this is a deadlock okay so how we can say whether it is in the deadlock situation it has to fulfill four conditions what are the four conditions okay let us see the Kaufman condition there okay so what are the four first one is see see these four conditions should be true then only uh, we'll assume that it has it is in the deadlock situation so what was that first one mutual exclusion okay so there should be at least one resource that cannot be utilized by more than one transaction at a time see now you can see here uh, a, t1 is hold by a when t2 has requested because t1 is holding uh, exclusive lock now it cannot be shared with t2 that means when you suppose if you have a shared lock instead of exclusive lock that means even if t1 is holding a it can share with t2 then no issue no deadlock will occur right but here what happened they are exclusively okay so that they cannot be shared with others until they release the lock right okay second situation hold and wait condition ah uh, now what happens see they are holding the resource and they are requesting for someone so until you they get the request they are not leaving re relieving so this is uh, the hold and wait con situation right third one no preemptions condition that means for example t1 uh, suppose it is requesting uh, t2 for b okay so to get a lock on b but t2 is holding it for example, if it is uh, uh, preemption condition, it will forcefully uh, take from the T2, but it's not a uh, preemption condition, no preemption. That means until T2 release the lock on B, T1 cannot get the lock. Okay. Now this third one situation also, we are, it is true. Fourth situation, C, circular weight should not be there. For example, T1 is requesting T2, T2 is requesting T3, T3 is requesting again T1. See here also we have a circular C. T1 is requesting to T2. T2 is requesting to T1. Now it is also a circular, right? So now four four conditions are true. Now you can say that this is a deadlock situation. Now we are in a deadlock situation. So now to avoid this deadlock situation, do we have any uh, any uh, okay any kind of methods? Yes. So to handle the deadlock, we have deadlock avoidance. Okay. So in the deadlock avoidance, again, we can use a deadlock detection method. Okay. So we, uh, which is advanced wait for graph method. Okay. Or we can also use deadlock prevention. So when we use deadlock detection and when we use deadlock prevention means deadlock detection, when we have a, a database is very small, then deadlock detection is bet better. Okay. But when you have a large database, then deadlock prevention is better. Right. So let us see what is this deadlock. Uh, detection and deadlock uh, prevention right first deadlock detection so deadlock detection what it will do it will detect it will detect the see it will detect the deadlock how see in a database when a transaction wait and indefinitely to obtain a lock the dbms should detect whether the transaction is involved in a deadlock or not so how the lock manager maintains wait for graph method uh, wait graph wait for the graph this method is used to detect the deadlock so how let us see so what is wait for graph means this method detects deadlock involving creating a graph based on a transaction and it avoid lock so what we are saying for example t1 is requesting t2 we'll draw a graph again t2 is requesting t3 we'll also draw a graph t3 is requesting t1 so again we will draw a graph when we are drawing a graph what happens we can easily recognize where it will be a circle and uh, sorry if any cycle form that means t1 is requesting t2 t2 is requesting t1 or t1 is requesting t2 t2 is requesting t3 t3 is requesting t1 so if any circle form then automatically we can say that that is a deadlock situation so can we recover from this yes when you find the deadlock situation you have to cancel any one of the transaction so for example i will cancel the t2 trans t2 request then automatically now deadlock will not occur 
okay after again it we it has to create uh, it has to restart okay so t2 transaction has been cancelled uh, should be cancelled and it should be restarted right so this is a deadlock uh, detection method where we use wait for graph means uh, we can draw, we'll draw a graph and we'll recognize okay another one is deadlock prevention uh, so deadlock prevention what we will do we give a time stamping that means senior junior old transaction new transaction so what uh, this old transaction new transaction will do means with the help of old transaction and new transaction um, we sorry we will use a time stamping so with the time stamping what we'll do we can recognize which one is older and which one is newer okay so when we have older and newer what we'll do we'll use wait wound method we, uh, oh, sorry wound sorry uh, weight die method and wound weight method okay so first let us start with the weight die method okay for example there is a t1 transaction and t2 transaction t1 is a older one t2 is the newer one okay now first situation is the older transaction is waiting for the resources see t1 is requesting for a but t2 is only holding a that means younger one is waiting en sorry younger one is holding the lock then the older transaction allowed to wait for the resources until it is available see now what we are doing t1 has to wait and t2 can be con continued okay suppose in place of t uh, t2 okay suppose in uh, t if now t2 is holding right instead of t2 now t1 is holding what happens if t1 is holding the a and t2 is requesting so now in this situation see if older has held some resources and if younger is waiting for it then younger transaction is to be killed now we have to kill it and it has to restart again right so this is called wait and die if younger younger um, younger ha has hold on a and uh, older transaction is requesting then it has to wait but if older transaction is holding and younger transaction is re requesting it has to die so in first situation it is wait second situation it is die right so now we will take another uh, uh, method wait wound seam okay so in this what happens see now t1 see old transaction request resources same t1 is requesting t2 is holding so what happens in this situation now t1 is requesting so in previously there was a wound uh, sorry wait die situation t1 has to wait now here what it is doing it is forcefully taking a from the t2 and it is killing the t2 second method what is the second one see now t1 is holding a and t2 is requesting in this situation t2 has to wait right so once again i will show you i will t uh, sorry i will show you a table so that you can easily understand so there are two methods wait die wait wound now older is so what you are having older process is requesting younger okay so older is requesting for the uh, uh, for the resource for younger now when older is requesting what are the two situations in if it is wait die older has to wait if it is wound wait it will kill the younger one same younger is requesting for the holder oh, uh, younger transaction is requesting for older transaction for resources now in this in wait die younger has to die uh, in wound wait younger has to wait okay so this table will explain to you everything right okay so friends i hope you have understood the what is uh, you have understood what is deadlock and how to handle the deadlock okay so deadlock detection and deadlock prevention deadlock detection we have a graph uh, wait for graph method and in deadlock prevention wait die and a wound wait okay so friends if you like the video please do subscribe and don't forget to like the video okay thank you